Hi beautiful yogis, thank you for joining me today for your yoga practice. I hope that you are well, healthy and in a good mood. And if you were not in a good mood, yoga will make it all better, I promise. So today we have a hip opening sequence. Uh, it's going to be slightly sore than the one that we usually do together and I really hope you enjoy it. So uh, long story short, we tend to keep all uh, repressed emotions uh, in the hips. So today is a good day to release your uh, repressed emotions. So when you set an intention for your practice, maybe you can think of something that you want to release. It can be anger, it can be sadness, anything that, that you want to let go of. That can be your intention for today. So come to a comfortable seated position. You can remove the flesh from your sitting bones to really feel grounded. And just take a moment here to settle on your mat. Palms up or down, whatever you want today. Pull your shoulders back, open the chest, close your eyes for a moment. Take a moment to center your attention inward. Forget everything that happened earlier. And don't worry about things that might happen later and anchor yourself in the present moment. Observe your breath. Observe the quality of your thoughts. And relax your body, relax any tension you might have. Relax your face and your shoulders. Relax your arms. Soften your belly. Relax your hips, your legs, your feet and your toes. And with every exhale, you can let go of any tension, any stress you might have. And here you can set your intention. What is it that you want to release? What emotion do you want to let go of? slowly exhale and again take a deep breath and exhale take a deep breath and slowly exhale back to a natural breath. Bring your hands in the prayer position in front of your heart. Rub your palms together to create some heat. Now cup the palms in front of your eyes without smashing them and feel vibrations, energy. Blink your eyes open Spread the fingers and release. Welcome. So we're starting in an extended child's pose. So bring your big toes together and open your knees as wide as the mat so we can really start opening the hips. Your knees on each side of the mat. Bring your hands in front of you and slowly walk your hands forward. Bring the forehead on the floor. and breathe. With every breath, you create more openness in the body. Feel the inner thighs 
stretching, the, open, the upper back opening. Now walk your hands to the right, hands and torso, and take the torso rest on the right thigh. See if you can bring the left hand a little, a little more forward to create more space on your left side. Keep breathing deeply. Take a big inhale. When you exhale, you walk your hands back to the center. Now walk your hands and your torso to the left. Rest the forehead on the floor if you can. And see if you can bring the right hand slightly more forward to feel in a nice stretch in the right side. Keep breathing deeply. Now big inhale. Exhale, walk your hands and your torso back to the center. Now walk your hands back. And you can close your knees. And here you can stand on your knees. Make sure that you can open your knees as wide as the hips. Make sure that the knees are under the hips, shoulders above the hips. Hands alongside the body, good. So now, oh, yeah. Now extend your right leg to the side and make sure that the knee and the toes are aligned. And here you wanna roll the thigh inward so you come on the inner edge of your right foot. Hands on your side. Now inhale your left arm towards the ceiling, elongating. And when you exhale, you fold all the way to the right. Keep the chest open. You should feel a nice stretch as well on the right in the thigh and also on your left side. You can send your gaze up. You can gaze towards the hand that is extended. Inhale. And on the exhale, you can gently release and you can bring your right knee back. Now extend the left leg towards the left. Your toes are aligned with the knee. You roll your, inner, your thigh inward so you come on the inner edge of the left foot. Left hand on the left knee. Inhale your right arm to the ceiling, elongate. And when you exhale, you can bend to the side. Your left hand slides alongside the left leg. Open the heart and you can send your gaze towards the right hand. Engage the belly muscles and breathe. Big inhale here, and exhale. You can slowly release, bring the left knee to meet the right knee, and here you can come in a tabletop position. So, um, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and the feet flat on the floor. Don't cut up the ears in the shoulders. Press on your hand to slightly down the upper back, and engage the core. Now we take three rounds of cacaros. So on an inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, look up, table is lifting. And when you exhale, you round the upper back, you tuck the tailbone in and you tuck the chin so you can gaze towards the belly. And again, inhale, arch the back, lift the heart, look up. And exhale, round. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, gaze towards the belly. And one more time. Inhale. And slowly exhale. And you can come back to a neutral spine. Good. Now extend the right leg back, pointing the toes, don't open the hip, and left hand forward. When you inhale, you reach back and forth, and when you exhale, you round. Bring the elbow to the knee. Again, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Now extend the left leg back, pointing the toes, 
and right arm forward to keep the seat down. Engage the core, face forward, belly turn the hips. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, round. Knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, back to table position. Alright. Now from here, keep your feet flat on the floor. Press on your hands. Press on the top of the feet and hover your knees from the floor. So normally we do that with the toes start, but today we will do it with the feet flat. And breathe. Engage your abdominal muscles, click between your fingers, and we stay here for three. Sometimes you need to make several steps, that's absolutely fine. Set your right knee on the floor, top of the right foot is flat, and lift your torso up. And here again, gently start to sink the hips and soften the hips towards the mat. Make sure that, you see here, I have to like bring my, my foot a little bit more forward so the knee is right on top of the, of the skin. And soften. Bring the 
weights that are going to go. Make a big circle with your arms. Inhale, open the chest, look up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Now, come into your mountain pose. Feet are parallel, feet are close to each other, knee pads are lifted, tailbone, in, tailbone down and pelvis forward. Hands to your heart, smile on your face. the right foot, a big step back, set your right knee on the floor, inhale your arms towards the ceiling, sinking the hips down, exhale, hands on the floor, lift your right knee, bring the left foot to meet the right foot for a high bend, hold your blend for a moment, open the fingers wide, engage your belly muscles, now bring the knee on the floor, shift the weight forward so the elbow goes past the wrist, bend the elbows, bring your chin, your, your chin, your chest on the floor, tailbone is lifting, slide your hands and gently heel yourself off the floor and come here into a cobra. Breathe gently. Now tuck the toes, press on the hands, feel it, say, done. Between the hands again, bring the right foot forward, inhale, open to your chest, exhale, bring the left foot forward and fold to Tanasana. Inhale, rise up for your tall mountain and exhale, hands to your heart. Can you do this on the left side? Inhale, rise up. Left foot back. Set your left knee on the floor. Inhale, your arms up, sinking the hips down. Exhale, hands on the floor, framing your foot. Lift your left knee. Right foot meet the left foot for high bend. Fold the high bend for three, two, one. Knees on the floor. Shift the weight forward. Bend the elbows. Chin, chest on the floor. Tailbone is lifted. Slide the legs, gently press on your hands, and come here for cobra. And breathe. Now tuck the toes, press on the hands, exhale, use the belly muscles, downward dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Catch your breath. And release the hands. Now, open your feet slightly wider. So, uh, hips distance apart. Bring your hands on your hips and hinging from the hips, you gently fold forward. Now release the hand and come with your peace fingers. So the index and the middle finger, grab your, grab your big toe. So when we do the hips, we always have to warm up the armstrings as well. So grabbing the big toes, inhale, look halfway up with your flat back. And when you exhale, you bring your elbows to the side and the chest towards the thigh. And you breathe. Press your feet on the floor and with your peace finger and the middle with your peace finger, you can pull on your toes. Keep breathing. Inhale, look halfway up. Feel a nice stretch. 
stretch in the back of your leg. Waist forward, tailbone lifting, belly squeeze. Inhale, look halfway up. Release the big toe, bring your hands on the floor. Make a big step with the right foot at the back of the back. Now bring your left hand inside of the left foot and gently heave to your heel, your left foot towards the left edge of the mat that's in the floor. Now here we've come to a little pose, so I'll give you several options. You can set the right knee on the floor and you can bring one elbow or one forearm on the floor and then the other forearm on the floor. If you want, you can hit pause and you can go grab a book or grab a block and then you can bring the floor closer to you and you can bring the forearms on the book or on the floor. So um, go get them and then come back to your mat. And if you don't want to do that, you can just stay on your, on your hands. Once you have found the position of your arms here, you have another option to lift the right knee off the floor and release forward. And you feel a nice stretch in the inner thigh, of the, in the inner left thigh. back in the middle, frame it with both hands. Lift the right knee off the floor and here press on your left foot so you bring the right foot forward. Sink your hips down, squeeze your thighs and inhale for chair pose. Lifting your heart and lifting your arms towards the ceiling. I know it might be a little bit burning. Inhale here and exhale, go forward. Now set your hands on the floor and again open your feet as wide well as the hips. With your please fingers, grab your big toes again. Inhale, look halfway up with a flat back. And when you exhale, you bring your elbows to the side and you want to close the gap between the chest and the thighs. And the waist, tailbone is lifting, the weight towards the toes, belly is squeezed. Inhale, look halfway up. Now release the hands and with the left foot you make a big step towards the back of the mat. Find yourself in a low lunge. Now bring your right hand inside of the right foot and heave to your right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Set your left knee on the floor and here we take to the pole again. So if you have your blocks, you can grab your blocks so you can set your forearms on the blocks. If you don't want to do that and stay on your hands, it's fine. Or you can come into your forearms. Again, you have the option to lift the left knee off the floor and waist forward. And feel a nice stretch in the right hip and the right inner thigh. Not from the shoulders, keep space between the shoulders and the ears. And breathe. If your left knee was on, was lifted, you can set it back on the floor. Come on your hands, and with your right hand, gently press the right knee away so you can come on the edge of the foot. The foot is lifted, and you gaze over your right shoulder. Again, don't turn up the shoulders. Keep an open chest and a bone, a, a torn spine. And you can gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale here, exhale, release, heave to the right foot so it comes back to the center, frame your foot 
off the floor. And here, press on the right foot so you begin with the left, the left foot forward. Feet together, sink your hips low, inhale your arms up, and find the chest pose. And breathe. See if you can sink a little deeper, make sure you can see your toes. Inhale here, and exhale, go forward. Open the knees to the side and come into your Malasana pose, yogic squat. So you see the toes are pointing upward and here you can bring your hands to your heart and press your elbows inside of the knee on the thighs, opening the heart. You can gently sway from side to side, feeling a nice stretch in the hips. Keep pressing your elbows in the inner you can stick here or we can take it a little deeper. You can set your right hand in the diagonal of your right knee. Inhale your left arm towards the ceiling and keep pressing the knee towards the outside. Now here you can take a bind. So you can wrap your right arm around the right knee and with the left hand you can bind your arms and open the chest towards the ceiling. And keep breathing. If you have a bind, release the bind and bring your hands back to the center. Now set your left hand diagonal to your left foot and your left knee. Keep pressing with your, your knee, with your elbow, your shoulder. Inhale your right arm towards the ceiling. Keep pressing your knees towards the outside. Here you can wrap your left arm around the left knee and take a bow. Open the chest towards the ceiling, but collapse the chest. And breathe. And gently twist it. Inhale. Exhale, release the bind and bring your hands back to the chest. Now. Now bring your hands on the floor and gently start Straighten the legs, heel to your feet, bring your hands on your hips and gently rise up. So I come back to the front of the mat, you should be at the front of the mat. So now from the front of the mat, with the left leg you make a big step towards the back of the mat and you open your legs wide. We all have different, different sizes, different legs, but they have to be very wide. Your toes are pointing towards the outside of the mat and your heels are slightly more inward. Now inhale and lift your arms up for five pointing stars. And on the exhale, bend the elbows, hands are parallel to each other, bend the knees, squat down for your goddess pose. Find your inner goddess. See if you can sink a little deeper and keep bringing the knees towards the outside. Now inhale, five pointing stars. And again, exhale, goddess pose. You can gently sway from side to side, feeling that in the glutes as well. Inhale, five pointing stars. And one more time, exhale, find your goddess. Now bring your hands on your thighs with the fingers pointing down. Now inhale, open the chest, and on the exhale, drop the right elbow towards the center and gaze over the left elbow, a left shoulder. Inhale, lift the torso, and exhale, sink your left shoulder towards the center and gaze over the right one. Inhale, center, 
Bring your hands back for your goddess pose and release five hunting stars and down. Now your feet come inward. So your toes are slightly inward. The heels are right behind the toes. Chest is lifted, shoulders, hips are one same line. Bring your hands on your knees. Inhale, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. And exhale, fall forward with a flat back. Standing strider split. Now set your hands on the floor, flat on the floor. Inhale, press on your hands, look halfway up. And when you exhale, press on the floor with your hands and fall forward. The idea is to bring the crown of the head on the floor. Now see if you can bring your hands slightly more back so the toes are aligned with the heels. You can keep a gentle bend if the knees is necessary. Keep space between the shoulders and the ears. And breathe. Inhale, look halfway up. And one more time. Exhale, fold forward. Crown of the hand of the head, so we're reaching towards the floor. The weight is slightly more on the toes, so you feel a nice stretch as well in the arm strings. Inhale, look halfway up. Good. Now grab your big toes the same way we did in fold forward. So with your peace finger, you grab the big toe and the, the thumb is pressing on the floor. Inhale with a flat back, and when you exhale, send the elbows towards the ceiling and the crown of the head on the floor. And breathe. Say hi to Homer, I can hear him. Inhale, look halfway up. Bring your hands right under your face. Now, hands on your hips. And you can press on your feet and inhale all the way up. Good, almost there. Now, bend the right knee and come into a side lunge. So you can set your hands on the floor. And here you want to lift your left foot so the toes are towards the ceiling. You can adjust the stance here. Give you option with the hands, you can bring your hands in the prayer position in front of your heart. And if that's too difficult, you can just keep your hands on the floor. That's fine. Feel a nice stretch in your left thigh. And breathe and smile, relax your face. Now you can set your hands on the floor or keep your hands to the chest. Press on your right foot, lift the right knee and come to a side lunge on the other side. Toes are pointing towards the ceiling, chest is lifted, heart is lifted, and again you smile. And again, hands on the floor if you need to bring your hands on the floor. Keep breathing, keep smiling, maybe you can come to the intention that you set at your practice. Now inhale, and on the exhale straighten both legs. Set your hands down and come back in your standing straight your split. Hands on the hips. Inhale all the way up, pressing on your feet. And exhale, come back to the front of the mat. And release. Well done. Now face the short edge of the mat. Bring your hands to your heart. Come on your tippy toes and gently start to bend the knees, coming on the toes. Good. Here, see if you can set your feet flat and without using the hands, you can sit. Good. Now bring the soles of your feet together and with your hands you can Press your hands back so you can lift your hips and bring them closer to the heels. Here, grab your feet and open them as you would open a book. Set your elbows in the inner thighs or on the, on the knees, wherever you can. Inhale, open the chest and when you exhale, you fall forward. The idea is to bring the navel towards the feet, so don't run, don't be here. 
Keep an open chest and a flat back. When you inhale, you can slightly lift the chest and when you exhale, you press your elbows in the thighs and you fall forward. And you breathe. chest and exhale fall. Squeeze your belly. Inhale and on the exhale you can gently release. Okay. Now extend the right leg to the side and extend the left leg to the side. So what we did standing up we can try to do it on the floor. So again, this one is a very demanding pause. It takes time, so be compassionate with your body and with yourself and be patient. So here you want to grab the butt cheeks again to remove the flesh from the ceiling bones, really feel the anchor, lift your toes towards the ceiling, straight back. Inhale your arms up, opening the chest, and on the exhale, gently fall forward. And your hands, they go wherever they can. So if you are here, it's fine. If you can go lower, it's fine. So go gently, gently with your practice. And again, the idea is to bring the chest on the floor and to feel a nice stretch in the inner thighs and in the back of the legs. And we take a few deep breaths here. And every time you exhale, maybe you can go a little lower. Every time you exhale, your body softens a little more. We let go, we release everything that doesn't serve us any longer. Now big inhale and exhale. And slowly walk your hand back. Now, set your right elbow close to the right heel, um, right knee, sorry, and see maybe if you can grab your big toe. Now, lift your left hand, lift your left arm up, and maybe here you can grab your foot, or maybe not, maybe your arm is lifted and, and that's fine. And again, don't collapse forward, open to the side. And breathe, you can engage your belly muscles, Feel a very nice stretch here on the left side. Now inhale and exhale, release and we change. Set your right elbow close to the right knee. See if you can grab the big toe or maybe you can just slide your hand under the calf muscle. Inhale your right arm. Maybe the right arm can grab, can grab sorry, the left toes, or maybe not. Maybe your arm is in the, in the air, and that's fine. Roll your chest open and gaze up. Engage your belly muscles. Inhale and exhale. Slowly release. Good. And now very gently, but very gently, you want to bring your legs back to the center. It might hurt a little bit. Good. All right. Very nice. Well done. And from here, you can actually come onto all fours. So now that we have, I'll, I'll face you. So now that we have opened the heels, we start to close them up. So bring your left knee across and over the right knee. And here, open your feet to the side for cow face. And now sit back. So you want to sit between your legs. Ow! And it hurts a bit. I don't really like this pose, but it's, it's, a, it's a good one. You can place your hands on your feet. Make sure you don't sit, sit on the heels. So keep your feet to the ground. Now inhale, lift your chest, and when you exhale, you can fall forward. And breathe here. Breathe through the hips.
soften the body, soften the hips. Now slowly release. Press your hands on the floor and come back into all four position. And we have to do the same on the right side. So now set your right knee outside of the left knee. Open your feet to the side and gently bring your bum between your legs. Grab your feet and keep your feet on the floor. Make sure you don't sit on the heels. Inhale, open the chest and exhale, fold. The chest towards the thigh. Breathe deeply to soften the hips. And slowly you can rise up. Bring your hands forward. Come back onto our fours. Now sit on your heels and shift your bum towards the left. Right foot comes over the left knee and make sure that you set the foot towards the outside so you can sit, you can have a, you can really sit on your, on your butt cheeks. Press on the left foot. Now bring your right hand back, lift your left arm up, inhale, Exhale, twist from the bottom of the spine. Hook your left elbow on the outside of the right knee and twist toward the back of the room. You might hear a crack. It's good. When you inhale, you lengthen the spine. And when you exhale, keep in pressing, keep pressing the elbow on the knee and the knee on the elbow. You can twist a little deeper. Inhale. And when you exhale, you slowly release. Bring the right knee on top of the left. Come back into the starting position, sitting on your heels, and now shift your bum to the right. Bring the right foot over the right thigh. Bring the left, is it the left mat? No, the right foot towards the edge of the mat so you can sit on your butt cheeks and not on the heel. Left hand to the side. Bring your right arm forward, elongate, inhale, exhale, twist the torso from the bottom of the spine. Hook your right, no, your, yeah, your right elbow on the outside of the right, on the left knee, and press and twist from the bottom of the spine towards the back of the room. Try to align the shin and the shoulder. When you inhale, you lengthen the spine, so when you exhale, you have more space to twist. Inhale, and on the exhale, you can slowly release. Release the legs. Now bring your feet flat on the floor, glue them to the floor, extend your arms in front of you, and gently and roll the spine on the mat with control, squeezing the belly. And gently down, good. Now bring the heels closer to the bum. Bring your right ankle over the left thigh. Lift your left foot off the floor and come and grab the right knee. With both hands, you can interlace the fingers. Flex your feet and gently pull the legs toward your chest and you should feel a nice stretch in the glutes on the right thigh, on the right side. Keep your shoulders on the floor. Soft gaze towards the ceiling. And breathe. Inhale, exhale, gently release the left foot on the floor, release the right foot, and change. Right ankle over the left, left ankle over the right thigh, lift the right foot, 
and come and grab the right knee with both hands. Flex both feet and gently pull the legs toward the chest, keeping the shoulders on the floor. Soft gaze towards the ceiling or you can even close the eyes. And feel a nice stretch on your left glute. Now bring your feet, open the feet as wide as the mat, hands extended to the side, arm extended to the side. And here you can do some um, windscreen from your car, you know, bringing your knees to one side and then to the other side. Do this a couple more times. Releasing. Now bring your knee back to the center, your arms close to the body, extend your legs in front of you, open your feet as wide as the mat, palm facing up, and you can gently settle here in your Shavasana. And we take three abdominal breaths together, so you can start by exhaling all the air you have in the belly. Now inhale, inflate your belly like a balloon. Bring the air to the lungs, opening the chest to the collarbones. You hold it at the top. And gently you exhale. Chest falls. Belly falls, navel goes towards the spine. And you squeeze at the bottom. And again, inhale, inflate your belly like a balloon. The air comes to the chest, up to the collarbones. You hold it. And slowly you exhale. Chest fall, ribcage closes. Belly deflates, navel to the spine. And one more time. Inhale, inflate your belly like a balloon. The air goes to the lungs, the ribcage opens. Air goes to the collarbones and you hold it at the top. And slowly you exhale. Ribcage closes. Belly drops, navel to the spine. And you can come back here to a gentle breathing. A natural breathing. Letting go of any tension that might remain in the body. Releasing the legs, the feet. Releasing the hands and the arms, the hips. Softening the belly and the chest. Relaxing the back the neck and the back of the head and relaxing your face. And you can stay here for a moment in Shavasana, completely relaxed, having let go of any tension, of anything that doesn't serve you any longer. And gently breathe. You can stay for as long as you want in Shavasana, or you can bring your attention back to the room where you are. 
Observe the sounds that are around you. Feel the air on your skin. Maybe you notice a smell. Or there is a taste in your mouth. You can gently start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Make small rotation with the wrists and the ankle just in one direction and then the other. Then you can draw your knees to the chest. Give them a big squeeze. And gently roll on the left side, coming into a fitted position. And here, you can take a moment to come back to the intention at the beginning of the practice. And then setting your right hand on the floor, you can gently press yourself back up to a seated position with your legs crossed and your eyes closed for one more moment. Finding the gentle lift in your heart. You can bring your hands in the prayer position in front of your heart. You can thank yourself for making the time to be on your mat today, taking care of your body and your mind. And together to close the practice, we'll chant the mantra Aum Shanti Shanti Shanti. You can start by exhaling all the air. Now take a deep inhale to chant. Om Shanti 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 Inhale and exhale. May there be peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart and in your homes. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you, beautiful yogis. I hope you have a great rest of the day or the evening. See you tomorrow. Bye.